maybe half mile west of us. I uh, copy west northwest, uh, half mile of K18 and I70. Uh, would you uh, characterize this as uh, fast rotation, and is there a lowering? A very organized uh, rotation at this time, and it is definitely lowering. Uh, that would be a, as good as it's going to get for right now with the contrast. Thank you, sir. I'm getting it on the uh, on chat right now. Thanks, Jay. Be safe. WX0RG. Yeah, Jay, you are Jay, we're going to be just sitting east of Junction City here, about three miles or so here on 70, K0, JWH. Okay, you look to your east almost, up the interstate there, and uh, is there still that lowering there? Well, there's nothing to my east. on east here, because this is coming over the top of me, just north of me here. Are you east of K-18 now, Jordan? Yeah, about uh, three or four miles. I'm sorry, look to your west then. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a hill on our way uh, to the west. We're just waiting for it to get a little closer.
TS-1 EMS and VAQ. I just got done face to face with Daniel. We're headed back westbound and north to try to get in behind that storm that's by Wakefield. Copy that. KE0JWH and VAQ. Yep, same. Just had a face to face with Jay and uh, Daniel and our group. We're going to be heading west uh, to try to catch that storm that's uh, over by uh, Manchester and uh, uh, northeast of Bennington. Roger that. Do I have anybody else that's been out reporting? I'd like to just check on everybody real quick. I'm not sure if you had him checked in on your list. Uh, WX0WLF is uh, with me um, in a separate vehicle, but he's monitoring K-Link as well. K0JWH. Okay. Yeah, I see him here too. Apparently Daniel is not on our uh, special little feed that I have here because I don't see him. Yeah, Roger, I'll get that from him tonight. K0JWH. Yes, please do. <laughs> K2SWE slash 5 on channel lane. Good afternoon all. <laughs> Good day, mate. <laughs> have you out there. Oh, but you'll, you'll have to stand by. We only allow Australians on this net. Is <laughs> <laughs> control net, so I'll, I shall ask. Uh, yeah, I'll continue on, sir. Um, as I said, uh, Jordan, Jordan's doing primary liaison. Uh, he's uh, just set of eyes. Uh, we've got backup transmitters if needed. We obviously are heading, um, heading uh, west for that extra threat and leaving this one behind just in case that other storm does something interesting. Uh, good evening, all. All right, thanks, Daniel, and VAQ. Like kicking the kangaroo, I'll have to get off. Hey, Justin, this is Jesse. I'm stuck over here at the bluff still at 11, so if I can start getting dicey close to Geary County, if you can. Give me a shout. I got a view pretty much to my west from I-70 or I-70 and 77 over at the Bluff Apartments Cross from Sat Brothers, WX-5 MED. Alright, thanks Jeffy and VAQ. I was out at the house once, back out again and going back home. Talk to you later in VAQ and 0MXR Mobile. Right, good night, Chuck. Gary Burgess running code.
Weather Service in Topeka has issued a flash flood warning for Southern Clay, Ottawa County, and Northern Dickinson County in effect until midnight. Today's day, repeating a flash flood warning has been issued for Southern Clay, all of Ottawa County, and Northern Dickinson County in effect until midnight.
Zero PM tank. Go ahead. Just to just information on five miles north of McPherson. Go ahead and take a look at that storm that's on the north side of McPherson County that's been warned. Alright, thank you. Zero PM tank.